This is Manikam. Uh, I'm going to walk you through the project which I have completed so far uh, about the continuous integration and continuous deployment. So to implement this project, you need to have a GitHub access, uh, Azure portal access, and Azure DevOps access. Um, so I'm, I have uploaded all my uh, project code in my repos in the GitHub, uh, uh, in my project, uh, in, in my GitHub access, sorry, repository. And um, to enable the continuous integration with my uh, Azure portal, um, I, I'll just log into my portal, um, go to the cloud shell, create an SSH key, and uh, up, upload this SSH key under the settings profile uh, of your profile. So once you enable this one, uh, you know, you'll be able to connect to your uh, local uh, directory to the uh, GitHub directory. Uh, so once uh, the uh, connectivity is enabled, then uh, you can enable the continuous integration and deployment uh, using a workflow under actions. Uh, I have already created an, uh, a workflow of, uh, in this workflow, it is going to, uh, whenever I make any changes to this repo, uh, this is uh, the build will automatically trigger and this will be completed. Uh, uh, once after a, every uh, um, build, then uh, a batch will be created uh, stating your uh, uh, project status. So uh, this is for a continuous integration and we are going to talk about the continuous deployment. Here uh, we took an example of uh, a, Fla uh, a Flask application uh, to deploy a the in under the web app services in Azure portal. Um, first, uh, you need to enable a connectivity between uh, your uh, Azure subscription to the uh, GitHub uh, uh, to your uh, DevOps access. This can be uh, established under uh, organization settings. Um, uh, under your organization settings, you provide access to the subscription, um, and then uh, create a project. Under the project, uh, uh, go to the pipelines. Um, before that, uh, you have to create a, uh, the web app service name in the under your resource group. Once you have created that one, then uh, go uh, log in back to the pipe uh, Azure DevOps. Go to the pipelines, create a new pipeline. Uh, this this pipeline is going for. Uh, we have uploaded the uh, uh, project code under your GitHub. So select the GitHub, uh, provide exact uh, path for the repos. Um, once you provide, then and you have to select this as a, a template. Uh, and uh, this project is in Linux web app on Azure. And then you uh, provide the subscription details where you want to de deploy. Um, Once you provide access to this one, then select the specific uh, web app name which you have created. Uh, this is going to validate and complete this. Uh, this once this is created, and save and run this manually or automatically. Um, so I'm just going to show uh, what exactly the uh, pipeline output what what I had in the last uh, few times before, and. This is going to create the stage and then deploy the web apps. So, uh, how to verify your web app or your uh, pipeline has been completely successful? Log in back to the Azure portal, go to that uh, um, web app services under the deployment settings center, you'll be able to see the um, status of your deployments. So, this is the one way to. So, um, uh, I have this is the one way of. Uh, uh, enabling the continuous deployment in your Azure Cloud. Yeah, thank you.